Did Pablo Escobar use Disney's private island to run drugs? If you Google Castaway Spicy and Pablo Escobar, you'll get tens of thousands of non-Disney-like search results. Click there and you'll likely find the story of how the notorious leader of the Medellin cartel used Disney Cruise Line's private island in the Bahamas as a landing site to smuggle drugs between South America and Florida. The legend is so pervasive that it has become a long-standing Disney tradition. Disney's first stop on Caribbean cruises, but is there any truth to the myth? We dug into Castaway K's past and found an even weirder story. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned until the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about how did Pablo Escobar use Disney's private island to run drugs. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start with a little introduction. Until the Walt Disney Company purchased a 99-year lease in 1997, Castaway K was known as Gorda K. It is only about 1,000 acres wide and very little developed. Gorda K is one of the nearly 700 islands that make up the Bahamas, and like many other islands in the Bahamas, is steeped in a history of piracy. In the 1700s, pirates prowled the crystal clear waters in search of Spanish galleons filled with valuable goods stolen from the Americas. Some of these ships ended up on the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. Throughout the 20th century, modern pirates searched the area around Gorda Cay for sunken ships. In 1950, two Nassau men discovered a 72-pound silver bar near the spicy tree. One historian guessed it was sunk in the 1650s and estimated its value at $1,150, a staggering $211,000 today, adjusted for inflation. Inspired by the silver bars and gold coins, sometimes dredged from the sands, John Steinbeck is said to have worked on a screenplay called Treasure of Gorda Clay. Unfortunately, except as mentioned in a 1958 columnist by Hedda Hopper, it appears the project never went into production. In the late 1970s, stolen goods of a different kind came to Gorda Cay. Drugs. The sparsely populated islands of the Bahamas become hotspots for drug traffickers who need to refuel their small planes en route from Colombia to the United States. It's no shame that the Bahamian government is perfectly happy to sell some of its islands to shy private buyers. The most famous of these is Carlos Lader, a prolific runner in Escobar's Medellin cartel. Lader operated out of Norman's Cay, south of Gorda Cay, and his operation turned the beautiful waters of the Bahamas into a war zone. Locals and pleasure seekers alike are appalled at the armed men patrolling the beaches. In 1980, a Florida couple sailing in the area was murdered on their boat. American officials believe that they have inadvertently caught gang activity. A 1981 Miami Herald article detailed some of the drug activity going on in broad daylight. Nassau residents reported seeing small planes drop packages of marijuana onto a waiting yacht. It's as blatant as anything you've ever seen, said one. Herald's story includes a section titled, How Experienced Sailors Stay Safe. One of the recommendations is to avoid staying in the areas with a lot of drug traffickings such as Williams Island near Andros, Norman's Cay in Exumas, Gorda Cay in the Abaco Islands, and the Bimini Chain. Although the Colombians conducted operations in other parts of the Bahamas, Gorda Cay was the territory of an American named Frank Barber. He recently bought part of the island and created a neat business of his own, lacing the Gorda Cay short airstrip to smugglers transporting weed, cocaine, and caludes to the United States. When Barber was arrested by drug enforcement, he agreed to become an informant. He takes money from the pilots and then transfers some of their names to the DEA. Along the way, he picked up a business partner, DEA agent Jeffrey Scarlett. Together, Barber and Charlotte protect some dealers and sell others, sharing the profits. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.